The knee joint is comprised of three bones. The thigh bone, the femur, the shin bone, the tibia, and the knee cap, or patella. A fourth bone, the fibula, while not part of the knee joint itself, provides a place for muscles and ligaments that surround the knee to attach. Ligaments are tough, flexible structures that hold bones together. The knee joint is stabilized by ligaments. The cruciate ligaments are located inside the knee and hold the tibia and femur together. The anterior cruciate ligament, or ACL, keeps the tibia from gliding too far forward in relation to the femur. ACL tears result in knee instability. A ruptured ACL does not heal without reconstructive surgery. If a torn ACL is not reconstructed, it can lead to damage to the meniscus and articular cartilage of the knee. It can also be devastating for an athlete who needs to sprint, pivot, and change direction quickly. In less active patients, especially older patients, an ACL reconstruction may not be beneficial. ACL injuries can often be diagnosed after a physical examination of the knee. An MRI can aid in confirming the diagnosis. ACL reconstruction is done through a scope. A camera is introduced through a small hole into the knee joint. The torn ACL is visualized and removed. A graft is prepared to replace the torn ACL. It may be harvested from one of the patient's tendons, or it may be a cadaver graft. Holes are drilled in the femur and tibia. The graft is anchored in the holes with screws. Recovery after an ACL construction requires a great deal of physical therapy and takes six months or longer but it can protect the knee from further damage and allow athletes to return to their sports.